Hey there again folks, welcome back to New Day, New Game. Today we're playing Among the Innocent, A Stricken Tale. Now I would like to thank the folks over at Zero Degrees Games for letting me try this game out for free. Um, I'm playing games that are horror-ish. I'm not sure if this is actually a horror-themed game. Um, it's got horror, it's got the horror tag on Steam, but I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, I am trying to get through my backlog of games that I haven't uh, done videos on yet. Uh, so it it knocks out, it knocks it out, and this I think is going to be a pretty good game. I already see that it's got mostly positive reviews on Steam. So, and I like games like this, adventure games. Uh, it says it kind of harkens back to point-and-click adventure games uh, from the from kind of the uh, uh, screenshots that I looked at. It looked kind of like a walking simulator type game. Uh, but anyway, we'll see what we'll see what it is. Now I turned my settings up to high. I don't have the best computer, so we're gonna see how that plays. I've definitely got a better computer than I did two years ago. But it's still not. Uh, two years ago, or like a year and a half, whenever I got it, it was like, ooh. This is pretty decent, you know, but now I'm not so sure. Then again, the game came out two years ago, so it should be fine <laughs> now that I think about it. Just a slider into the bar on the far left is barely visible. Is this the one to the far left that's talking about? Okay, it's barely visible there. But we're doing a video here. And on OBS I can only see Yeah, on OBS I can even I can only see three bars. I think I just barely see the uh, fourth one. So actually you guys are we're seeing it. Yeah, I can uh, see the fourth bar now on the second monitor over here on OBS, but on my on my main screen I can see the See, all the way up. Still going to be a bit too dark, but we'll, we'll go with it. Full brightness. Among the innocent, a stricken tale. Oh, it's kind of like a book. night is calm and crisp Ooh. in the town of Williamsburg, when suddenly its stillness is interrupted by a distant shouting match. Peter York and Stephanie Jacobs are arguing again. God damn it, just tell me what's on your mind, Peter pleads with his girlfriend. Her response, it's not that simple, Pete, just listen, please. We have important things to talk about, but you need to calm down first. I can't, he cries. Fine, Steph fumes. She admits defeat once more. Pete's stoicism, an unmovable force when he gets like this. Fine. Pete storms out of the house, slamming the door behind him. He needs to cool off. He's trembling. Steph, alone and furious with Pete for another of his childish outbursts, has a lot to think about. What did she have in her Pete hand? jumps on his motorcycle and tears off into the night. Some time passes. Pete cruises along the roads of this quiet part of the world. The country air soothes his nerves. His anxiety begins to simmer to a cool hum now that the confrontation with Steph has slid to the back of his mind. Backed by the calmness washing over him, Pete is filled with a sudden sense of adventure. He turns up a dusty mountain road. The road winds up into the rocky surrounds, its breadth growing narrow as the looming mountains reach taller. Without warning, the ground begins to tremble. Rocks above dislodge from their ancient positions, cascading down and around Pete. He loses control, his bike wobbling like a drunk. It spins out from under him, and he is flung to the ground. Hmm. Peter wakens, slowly, groggily. The rocks have fallen in behind him. Together with the high canyon walls, they block his return. His bike lies there twisted, useless wreck. 
Ahead is an open farm gate, and the road continues across a bridge. If he can find a telephone or help, his knee protests as he lurches onwards. He heads off, through the gate, across the bridge. A log cabin is up ahead. There are no lights on, and the area bears a grave stillness. Pete approaches the cabin, knocks on the front door. No answer. He knocks again, more forcefully. Still no response. He creeps open the door. The inside is dark and musty. His footprints leave impressions in the dust as he walks inside. Hello? Anyone? Pete is alone. His damaged knee gives in to its injuries and Pete collapses to the floor. His energy is sapped and he needs to rest. A dilapidated couch in the room looks like a luxury compared to sleeping outside, so he decides to lie down just for a while. I'm assuming he sleeps for more than just a while. Wish I had the, uh, the voice up just a little bit there. I turned it down because the music seemed loud, but I should have just adjusted the music slider. Hopefully you guys were able to hear the narrator there. Not sure how much more narrating is going to be happening. Okay, now we're going to be able to see stuff for ourselves. A sudden crashing noise wakes you from a swaying nightmare. Your clothes are soaked through. Wait, click or press any key to continue. Ugh, my leg. I need to get out of here. Steph will be worried. Let me put the audio up. The music volume down some more. Okay, so we can move stuff around. Ooh, blub, 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 blub. Then it could take another ounce of weight before collapsing altogether. What well, held you? It, it held you through the night. A rustic broom. You doubt it's been used in years. Large pot. Anything underneath it? Anything in it? We can jump with our wounded knee. Spice up your life. By O Hunter. I thought it was going to be like about cooking humans or something. Got better things to do than clean up someone else's mess. They would be grateful though. Can can I crouch? That's not much of a crouch. An old countertop gas stove that would have been would have been cheap even for its time. It's covered in grime and solid solidified grease. The old kettle was dented all over. Yummy food for a for the whole family by B. Wall. Wall. Okay, let's let's finish looking around this room before I before I do anything. Okay, can't take anything in there. Oh, yeah, I looked in there. Looks like someone had a bad day. Let's see anything outside. No, we can't. Oh, okay. The pictures don't have anything. Fireplace is cold. We got a door there. A door leading out. I was wondering if that was like a cow right there. You can hit shelf. It's kind of weird. You can hit shelf to kind of crouch a little bit. Like that. But if you hold shelf down, you can run. 
Damn, it's locked. Okay. What if we checked up here before we before we slept? Anything behind the picture? Okay. Your first child, a new parents guide by Professor D. Bell. What is that? Batteries. You picked up an item. Items are stored in your inventory. And are automatically used by left clicking on their corresponding hotspots in the game world. The key can open a lot. Okay. This is your inventory. Collected items are stored here. Can be examined, uh, right click, and combined if possible, left click. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely seeing the. Uh, so, yeah, this is definitely not a point and click. Uh, this is definitely not a walking simulator. It's definitely more of a point and click. First person point and click. Cool. Yeah. Elms you own are automatically used when you with a left click. You do not you do not need to drag or select items from your inventory to use them in the game world. Okay. Energetic. We got a lighter. Okay. Gonna hit L. Trusty lighter. Still packed of two D-sized batteries. Not sure if they still work. Okay, I can't rotate it around. I was gonna see if I could do that. Nothing in there. Okay. Ooh. I Hmm. The hissing can sounds kind of uh, ominous. Mrs. Rogers. It's not a good day in the neighborhood. <laughs> um, following our discussion of your son, Charlie, it is my belief that the boy is in need of help. The likes of which I cannot provide. I recommend that you bring him to my good friend and associate, Dr. Henry Barneswood, doctor who specializes in matters of the brain. I strongly urge you to seek help for the boy and, indeed, your whole family. Please do not hesitate to contact my uh, my rooms should uh, my, contact my rooms should you need have need of anything further. I'm not sure what she, what what they mean by my rooms. Collect a note whenever this happens. The note is added to your notebook for furniture. Okay, so I can hit in for notebook. Oh, patient named Peter York. When did we get this? Have I, did I pick this up and didn't realize it? Okay, well, we got a prescription for Benzinax, so. Is our name Peter? I can't remember. What is our name? I think it is Peter, now I think about it. Okay. Anything underneath the pillows? Oh. Well, there's the tire uh, swing from the uh, from the main menu. Wee, wee. <laughs> and then we get it from up there. Just wondering if we could hop down there. That'd be a good way to hurt our. Uh, Hurt our uh, knee some more. What else stuff they got in here? Most of this food expired at least a decade ago. Oh, sack. Sacks of flour in a large steel tub. Okay, so I can turn the lights on. Oh! Take the key. That's the do list. Chop firewood, fix the washing line, 
more petrol for generator, replace valves of ga on gas tank, and help Charlie with, with treehouse. Wait, are they expecting us to do this now? Sheesh. I think whenever I leave someplace, I'm going to leave a, a to-do to list. See if I happen to come back if people, uh... What was this take going outside? Oh. So I'm guessing the upstore, uh, upstores? Upstairs is still locked. Pile of broken logs and wood lines beneath an opening in the roof. Oh. Well, the roof here seems to have some terrible damage. Okay. That's still locked. Is that a blood stain? Oh. Lovely. This is exactly what you want to come across. Uh... Um. Lemony yum. Hello, human remains. Skeletal remains of what appears to be a woman. It looks like there is something in his hand. Reach down and liberate the bag from the skeleton's grasp. The bag is filled with an assortment of marbles. Well, she lost her marbles now. Okay, marbles. We still have the padlock, so I guess we can lock something. Okay, this definitely has a bit of an eerie vibe to it. Ew, what is, what is in the bucket? It's not... It's not... Yeah, I have no clue what that said. Repair guide. Oh my word. Checkerboard board model number LM uh, 428B. You know, honestly, this is the scariest thing that I could see. <laughs> yeah, this part down here don't even look like it's in English. So confusing, it don't even look like it's in English. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. Hmm. Feels like I need to sneeze. Got a ham radio. I'll need to hook up the power source if I want to use the radio. Ham radio, does it mean you can only talk to like pigs or something? Microphone is connected to ham radio. Speaker connected to ham radio. Okay. Maze. Oh. Well, where do we trigger that? Oh, okay. Wait, did I get it? Oh, I thought I got clever. Is that not what you're supposed to do? Where's the ball supposed to go if it's not there? Wait, I can't get the ball. Where is it supposed to go then? Oh, uh, I guess it's not supposed to go in down here. I was like, did I get it first try? I wasn't even trying. I was just 
asking like what you do. Okay, I need to. Okay. There we go. You take the coin. What do I use the coin for? Bedroom. Wait, there's a light over here. Oh, okay, this feels better. I feel better now. Not good, just better. Oh, I thought there was somebody over there. It's locked. Okay. Well, I guess there's anything we can do here. Can we go outside? It does seem to be locked, but I can't get the door unlocked. Okay. Oh, ah, I got you. We're using the coin to, to undo the screws. Gotcha. Okay. I see how it is. Cool. Large sturdy looking log has fallen into the room. Yeah, it has. A. A is for. Say A is for trophy? Is that what it said? There's something on the other side of that wall. Okay. Apparently she did not want the, the uh, dog in the uh, picture. Near, a clearly neglected fishbowl, complete with an even more neglected fish. Hmm. What do we do now? Hmm. Okay, still can't get outside. Hmm. Didn't know that before. Am I missing something down here? Gotta investigate the creepiest place, right? Check the uh, controls. Well, there's no controls. I was wondering if maybe there was a. Uh... Okay. What is what is postcard? I was thinking maybe there's a button. Okay, see his crouch. Okay. Shift isn't even listed on here. Hmm. So C is crouch. Ah, here we go. Okay. Hey, you can you can also run. I was thinking maybe there was a button. Like you know, some point and click adventures where you can uh. 
press the button and it'll tell you how to uh, or tell you things that you can interact so you can so you don't have to go pixel hunting you know I need to hook up a power source okay well, I can actually get up underneath the table hmm is there any place up here I could I could use crouching? Oh, I got the Oh, firewood. Oh. I'm killing. I've got plenty of uh killing shouldn't be an issue. I mean take a book, use that. Oh crap, have I screwed myself up? Oh. Guess you're gonna burn the, the cushion too. Finally, a bit of warmth. Okay. Can't. They still can't leave. Is there anything I can do here that involves crouching? I can look underneath here better, but that that doesn't do anything. I guess there's nothing in that box. This isn't anything, is it? Nope, nothing I can interact with. No, did I? Oh, I didn't even look. Okay, so that's not doing it. Hmm. Now let's look back in the basement. Since I lit the fire, see if that did anything different. And if it's the same, I think I'm going in the video. Okay, I don't see anything different. Don't have any power. Still no power to the ham radio. I'm assuming the ham radio is to uh, maybe get some help here. Try to get some help. Amazing. Ground. Is the corn? Hmm. Is there anything here I can interact with? Correct. Yeah, I tried that. Hmm. And there's nothing there. That's interesting. That 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 little area is interesting right there. Nope, nothing behind the door. Always gotta check in behind the door. So you never know when something is hidden. 
But anyway. Wait, can I move this? No, I can't move that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Pretty, pretty interesting game. I don't know how to proceed from here. I'm sure if I kept messing around with it, I, I would figure it out. Uh, or, you know, I could see if maybe there's something online, you know, to tell me what, what to do next. Um, but, yeah. Pretty, pretty interesting game. It's definitely got some pr uh, production value behind it. Uh, I like the whole... Uh, the whole thing at the beginning, we like the the picture book as it turned the pages. That was really cool. I liked that part. That was that was really cool to set up the uh, story, or at least the story for the main character and his girlfriend. I'm not sure how it sets up the story for whatever happened here at this uh, at this cabin, but but uh, yeah, it's. It's got some good atmosphere to it, too. I, I, I felt creepy down in that basement. It's like, eh, interesting. Is it? Eh, yeah, interesting. I was like, huh, interesting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Definitely added some nice uh, atmosphere to it. Um... Again, I'm not sure what happened with the story, but if you want to check out, check the game out for yourself, see see what the story is to it. Uh, it'll be in the link down in the description below, and uh, it's eight dollars right now. Uh, well, I say right now, regular price. Uh, so if this is like four, five, six hours worth of playtime, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah. Again, I don't know how spooky it gets, or whether it's just an interesting first-person point-and-click adventure type game. Um, it feels spooky, but I'm not sure if it really is or not. Anyway, guys, I do sincerely hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next uh, game. Later, folks.